In this video, they want us to determine the domain and range of an inverse function and restrict the domain of a function to make it one-to-one. -one. So this function looks like a parabola, and it does not have an inverse because we are it doesn't pass the horizontal line test to make it one-to-one. -one. You have to be one-to-one -one in order to have an inverse. So you can see it doesn't pass the horizontal line test by being putting the Sharpie there and it touching the line twice. What we want to do is we want to restrict the domain of this function so that um, it is one-to-one -one and has an inverse. So I can basically cut it right at this spot and say that the domain is just this piece, or I can say the domain is this piece, but it can't be both. So my option one for restricting the domain is to say that negative six to zero is the domain. Negative six for the x value to zero here. Or my option two, I can say that it is zero to six. But it's got to be one of these. I can't have a domain negative 6 to 6 because this function would not pass the horizontal line test, which means it isn't 1 to 1.